students welcome back to Bosco campus vision in the previous session we were discussing about economy analysis so we will continue with the topic and in this session we will look into economic forecasting which comes under economy analysis and the first two forecasting techniques that is anticipatory surveys and barometric or indicator approach as we know economy analysis is the first stage of fundamental analysis and start with an analysis of the historical performance of the economy but an investment is future oriented activity the investor is more interested in the expected future performance of the whole economy and its various segments economic forecasting thus becomes a key activity in economy analysis so nammal kazhinja session le ഒരു ഇക്കണോമിയിൽ മോണിറ്റർ ചെയ്യപ്പെടേണ്ട എക്കണോമിക് വേരിയബിൾസ് ഏതൊക്കെയാണെന്ന് നമ്മൾ നോക്കിയിരുന്നു സോ ആ എക്കണോമിക് വേരിയബിൾസ് എല്ലാം ഒരു ഇക്കണോമിയുടെ ഹിസ്റ്റോറിക്കൽ പെർഫോമൻസ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ പ്രസൻറ്റ് പെർഫോമൻസ് മാത്രമേ ഇൻഡിക്കേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാറുള്ളൂ ബട്ട് ആൻഡ് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ഈസ് എ ഫ്യൂച്ചർ ഓറിയൻറ്റഡ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റി സോ ദ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റർ ഈസ് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റഡ് ഇൻ ദ എക്സ്പെക്റ്റഡ് ഫ്യൂച്ചർ പെർഫോമൻസ് ഓഫ് ദ കമ്പനി ദാൻ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ് സ്റ്റോ ഹിസ്റ്റോറിക്കൽ ഓ പ്രസൻറ്റ് പെർഫോമൻസ് so in order to have an idea about the future performance of the economy we need forecasting and this forecasting done in economy or in economy analysis is known as economic forecasting the central theme in economic forecasting is to forecast the national income with various components an investor who would be particularly interested in forecasting the various components of the national income especially those components that have an earning on the particular industries and companies that he is analyzing so forecasting le mainly national income adinde components ay gdp gnp nnp idinde ellam after effects ellam aanu forecast cheyunnathu other than national income all those factors which affect the earning of the particular company or industry that the investor is analyzing will be taken into consideration for the purpose of forecasting so this economic forecasting is done through various forecasting techniques so next we have the various forecasting techniques economic forecasting may be carried out for short term periods intermediate term periods and long term periods the short term periods will be up to 3 years intermediate up 3 to 5 years and long term will be more than 5 years an investor is more concerned about the short term forecasting so some techniques of short term forecasting are anticipatory surveys barometer or indicator approach econometric model building opportunistic model building and machine learning technique so the first one is anticipatory surveys anticipatory surveys are surveys of intentions of people in government business trade and industry regarding their construction activities plant and machinery expenditure level of inventory etc such surveys may also include the future plans of consumers with regard to their spending on durables and non durables based on these results these surveys the analyst can form his own forecast of the future state of the economy so anticipatory surveys nu parayunnathu ആളുകളുടെ ഇൻറ്റൻഷൻസിൻ്റെ ഒരു സർവേയാണ് അതായത് ഫ്യൂച്ചറിൽ അവർ ചെയ്യാൻ പോകുന്ന ആക്ടിവിറ്റികളുടെ ഒരു ഇൻറ്റൻഷനാണ് ഗവൺമെൻറ്റിലും ബിസിനസ്സിലും ട്രേഡും ഇൻഡസ്ട്രിയിലും ഒക്കെ ഉള്ള കൺസ്ട്രക്ഷൻ ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് പ്ലാൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് മെഷീനറിയുടെ എക്സ്പെൻഡിച്ചേഴ്സ് ലെവൽ ഓഫ് ഇൻവെൻറ്ററി അങ്ങനെ ഈ കാര്യങ്ങളിൽ എല്ലാം ആൾക്കാരുടെ എടുക്കുന്ന തീരുമാനങ്ങളുടെ ഒരു ഇൻറ്റൻഷനാണ് അവർ തീരുമാനം എടുത്തിട്ടില്ല അവരുടെ ഇൻറ്റൻഷൻസാണ് നമ്മൾ ഈ സർവേയിലൂടെ കണക്കാക്കുന്നത് So, ഈ ഇൻറ്റൻഷൻസ് വെച്ചിട്ടാണ് ഫ്യൂച്ചറിൽ ഒരു എക്കണോമി ഏതൊരു സ്റ്റേറ്റിലായിരിക്കും എന്നൊരു തീരുമാനത്തിലേക്ക് എത്തുന്നത് സോ ഇതിൻ്റെ ഏറ്റവും വലിയൊരു ഡിസഡ്വാൻറ്റേജ് എന്താണെന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ദർ ഇസ് നോ ഗ്യാരൻറ്റി ദാറ്റ് ദ ഇൻറ്റൻഷൻ സർവൈഡ് വിൽ സെർട്ടൻലി മെറ്റീരിയലൈസ് സർവൈസ് ആർ വാലിഡ് ഓൺലി ടു ദ എക്സ്റ്റൻറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ദ ഇൻറ്റൻഷൻസ് ആർ ട്രാൻസ്ലേറ്റഡ് ഇൻ ടു ആക്ഷൻസ് സോ ഞാൻ ആദ്യം പറഞ്ഞതുപോലെ ഇത് വെറും ഇൻറ്റൻഷൻസ് ആണ് ഇത് ആൾക്കാർ ആക്ഷൻ ആക്കിയിട്ടില്ല ഇത് വെറും അവരുടെ മനസ്സിലുള്ള ഒരു തോന്നലുകൾ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അവർ ചെയ്യണമെന്ന് ഉദ്ദേശിക്കുന്ന കാര്യങ്ങളാണ് ഫ്യൂച്ചറിൽ അപ്പോൾ ഈ ഒരു സർവേ വാലിഡ് ആകണമെങ്കിൽ ഈ ഇൻറ്റൻഷൻസ് പ്രാവർത്തികം ആക്കിയെങ്കിൽ മാത്രമേ നമുക്ക് ഈ ഒരു സർവേ വാലിഡ് ആണെന്ന് പറയാൻ സാധിക്കൂ ദിസ് സർവേസ് ഓൺലി ബിക്കംസ് വാലിഡ് ഇഫ് ദീസ് ഇൻറ്റൻഷൻസ് ആർ പുട്ട് ഇൻ ടു ആക്ഷൻസ് സോ ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദീസ് അറ്റ് ഡിസഡ്വാൻറ്റേജ് ദി അനാലിസ്റ്റിസ് കെനോട്ട് സോൾലി റിലേ ഓൺ ദീസ് ആൻറ്റിസിപ്പേറ്ററി സർവേസ് 
Next is barometric or indicator approach. In this approach to economic forecasting, various type of indicators are studied to find out how the economy is likely to perform in the future. So, surveys in the surveys, we intentions to forecast the forecast. Here, we have certain indicators to forecast the forecast. And these indicators are time series data of certain economic variables. So, economically include added to the course of economic variables and indicators at act is And these indicators are classified into three. First one is leading indicators which indicate what is going to happen in the economy. So, our activity economy is going to be in the indicators we are going Second one is coincidental indicators indicates the state of the economy. So, in the case of the change, we will see the indicators and coincidental indicators. And the last one is lagging indicators, which indicates after the economy has changed. So, we will see the indicators and the lagging indicators. So, we have mainly three types of indicators in this approach that is, leading indicators, coincidental indicators, and lagging indicators. So the first one is leading indicators. These are those time series data that reach their high points or their low points in advance of the high points and low points of the total economic activity. So economy is a change in the economy. In the economy, the economy is a change in the economy. 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 So the meaning is there in the name itself that is leading, leading indicators. So some leading indicators are physical policy, monetary policy, rainfall, stock indices, number of new building permits, index of S&P 500 stock prices and the money supply. So physical policies are the policies and the measures taken by the central government in order to control the money supply or inflation in the economy and the monetary policies are those measures taken by the central bank of the country that is the RBI in order to control the money supply in the economy. So these two policies indicates the change that is going to happen in the economy and the next is rainfall which indicates the monsoon state in the economy and next is the stock indices that is Sensex and Nifty of NSE and BSE and we have number of new building permits which indicates the change in the economy and the index of s and Poor S&P 500 stock prices. S&P means standards and poor's that is a credit rating agency which act as a good forecaster of the economy. And the last one we have money supply that is the certain amount of money deposits in the bank and in the post office. We have mainly four types of money supplies M1, M2, M3 and M4 and M2 is considered as the leading indicator in this approach. type of indicator is coincidental indicators. They reach their peaks and troughs at approximately the same time as the economy. So, the economy is changing in the same way, we will see the indicators are coincidental indicators. Some coincidental indicators are personal income less transfer payments, GNP gross national product, interest rate prevailing in the economy, Manufacturing and Trade Sales Reserve Funds The Reserve Funds that are kept aside by a country and the Gap between Budgeted GDP and the Actual GDP So a GDP will be budgeted and there will be actual GDP If the budgeted GDP is equal to the actual GDP then the country is in a better performance state but if there is a large gap between the budgeted and the actual GDP, then it means that the economy is slowing down. So presently India has a very gap between the budgeted GDP and the actual GDP. So as a result, our economy is bitterly slowing down. So these are some of the coincidental indicators used in barometer or indicator approach. Next we have lagging indicators. The changes occurring in leading and coincidental indicators are reflected in the lagging indicators. So these indicate only after the change has occurred in the economy or the changes which occurred in the leading and coincidental indicators are reflected through these type of indicators. 
So some of the lagging indicators are unemployment rates in the economy, consumer price index, flow of foreign funds into the economy, commercial and industrial loans outstanding. So all these indicators indicate how the economy has performed recently but it is the least useful indicator in a forecasting or as a forecasting technique. So out of the three types of indicators, leading indicators are more useful for economic forecasting because they measure something that foreshadows a change in economic activity. So leading indicators is considered to be the most useful indicators out of the three because they shows or indicates what will be going to happen in the economy in future or what will be the changes that will be occurring in the economy. Although this barometric approach is used for the forecasting purpose, there are some limitations for these. The first one is it does not indicate the magnitude or duration of the change. Yes, these indicators only indicate what will happen in the economy or what changes will occur in the economy, but they will not mention the duration or the survival time of that change in the economy. So that is considered to be a great disadvantage. And the second one is the leading indicators may give false signals. So there is a chance of non-happening of certain items shown through leading indicators and any delay in the presentation of data defeats the purpose of the indicators. So time constraint is a main disadvantage here. Any delay in the presentation of data will defeat the whole purpose of the indicators. And the last one is different leading indicators can give conflicting signals. We have a few number of leading indicators and there is a chance that they may interpret a different result and there will occur a chance of confusion or conflict with that results and that is another disadvantage of this indicator approach. So these are some of the disadvantages regarding the barometric or indicator approach. So in this session we discussed about economic forecasting and the two types of forecasting techniques. In the next session we will discuss the balance three types of forecasting techniques. Thank you.